Now, plans are underway for a big celebration in Bury St Edmunds later this year to mark the life of England's original patron saint, St Edmund. The three-day event will take place in November. It was launched yesterday. It was launched by James Sheen, who's founder of the We Love Bury St Edmunds Facebook group and also special guest 1973 Eurovision legend Anne-Marie David. Uh, James and Anne-Marie on the line. And James, I think, first of all, hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning, Mark. How are Thank, you today? I'm very well. Thanks for joining us on the show. And I'm so sorry I couldn't make it to uh, your launch yesterday, but I had to cut the grass and do those boring household things yesterday, I'm afraid. Um, but you, you Mark, had a launch. We it, Mark, Mark, we have it in the can. It's all been filmed professionally. We'll be bringing a, a video out for it. So people will be able to partake of what we took to part partook of <laughs> as it were <laughs> <laughs> sounds good now the, the we love Barry St Edmunds Facebook group has grown and grown and grown and it's only been going what for just over a year uh, 18 months now we started on the 18th of December 2015 and um, we've just rocketed uh, we started with about 36 people in 30 days 30 days it became 9,000 people we're now 16,100 and whatever I've lost count <laughs> wow so huge success. A lot of people love Bury St Edmunds. And, and why have you chosen to um, do stuff around St Edmunds? You know, uh, uh, people listening will know that we are passionate about him here, and me in particular. So I'm thrilled with what you're doing. But why are you doing it? Because it hasn't been done properly before. Um, I'm a little bit frustrated with, with elements of the town where they haven't come out and got together and included the whole town and included to... Um, really celebrate the day that it's our day. It's one day in the year. Why can we not all celebrate it together rather than just a few little things going here, there, everywhere, you know, and nothing cohesively together. We need it all together massively. So to bring it together using the flag of St. Edmund all around town, looking, looking wonderful, making us being very, very proud of ourselves, to reinstill that pride massively, and to say, hey, look, we're here and we're in St. Edmunds. Aren't we lucky? Look at us. What sort of events are going on then? What are you planning? We have um, Dr. Francis Young coming to uh, Moises Hall on the, sat on the Sunday night. He's going to be doing a talk about uh, the Colts and Edmund. Uh, tickets are available at the Apex. No advertising there. And um, <laughs> I've got Oaks Barn there putting on a party. The Constitutional Club will be putting on a little play about Edmund. Um, Denny Brothers will be um, having um, an event with the kids. Um, Crafty Foxes as well, creating things about St Edmund. I'm talking to Maria Broadbent about um, doing a great Gary Bake Off with an Edmund theme. How much more do you want me to do? Well, it sounds <laughs> as if you've got lots and lots of plans. Uh, I mean, we've uh, been campaigning for over a decade now to try and get him his old job back as uh, original patron saint of uh, England, as he was, and uh, to oust St George. But um, we've got a struggle on our hands. You know, it's going to take a lot to oust George. But by doing this, you think it will add fuel to that campaign? Definitely. It was all done by little steps. You can't expect to just um, suddenly read something like that. It's a, it's a long process. And uh, as myself and Amory David have been talking about, we do little steps. You um, can't do a lot all at once. I know November the 20th is his big day. So what weekend are we talking about? 18th, 19th and 20th of okay. November. All right, firmly in our diary here. Uh, now, you're a big Eurovision fan, I know. You've been uh, chatting to Leslie Dolphin about Eurovision, so is that how you came to know Anne-Marie? Yes, it is, yeah. I, I met Anne-Marie David in um, Vienna a couple of years ago, and I was absolutely star-shocked, and I was like a, a rabbit in headlights. Uh, there was a photograph of me, and I was oh, my God, look at me now. <laughs> Um, but I met Anne Marie David last last couple of years, and we, we 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 meet up every so often, and we have such a good time. We're both crazy people with some very very crazy ideas, and uh, she agreed to come up to Bray St Evans yesterday, and to enjoy the celebration with me. I wanted her to experience Bray St Evans, and I tell you what, I've got another lover of Bray St Evans. Oh, wonderful! <laughs> Shove her on the phone. Let's, let's, have, the let's, have, let's have a word with her. Yeah, let's have a you. word. Hello, Anne-Marie. Good morning. Hi. Hi. Good morning, Thank everybody. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you for joining us. So, um, Hi, what, it's what, a pleasure. what do you think of Barry St. Edmunds now you've had a chance to have a look around? 
You know, it was very strange that, uh, first of all, when the James uh, sent me some pictures and the history of this uh, destiny, it's not an history, it's a destiny for this king, I was so impressed and um, I, I, I said, immediately I said, well, ask me if, if, if I can be a help. I will be because this is absolutely fantastic to be joined to be added to such a project. It's a great so story. He, said, he was uh, he was yes. a, a great guy. He was older than that. I mean, he has become more than a legend. He has become a saint. I mean, everybody knows him, and and but but I'm sure that everywhere we should celebrate much more uh, um, um, a, a man that has. Has has proven such a hard for his country, such such uh, such um, uh, a, a, a will of of keeping his his faith, and and I think that now that we need a lot of people uh, like this to just uh, support him. I mean, it, it, it's because of such people existed that we have actually freedom. So true, so true. Amory, thank you very much. And James, thank you. Amory David from uh, uh, Eurovision 1973. James, as well as running the uh, We Love uh, Barry St. Edmunds Facebook group, is a huge Eurovision fan. And so loads going on in Barry St. Edmunds on the 18th, the 19th and 20th of November to mark St. Edmunds Day this year. Really, really uh, getting people's attention, James, is at the moment. Twisting arms. Uh, it's good stuff. The more we can do for St. Edmund, the better.